Hi guys, John Watts from the True Golf Academy. You've joined me at Drayton Park Golf Club and today I'm going to be covering one of the hardest shots in golf. So I've got the long bunker shot. Uh, this is where we're trapped almost a little bit between a standard bunker shot and trying to take it cleanly like we would in a fairway bunker. So I've got 70 yards, but I think I only really need to fly this ball about 50. Uh, it is downhill, it's a little bit downwind as well, and the ball will run onto the green. So I'm trying to fly the ball about 50 yards for it to finish 70. The lip in this situation isn't too much of an issue for me, uh, but I've got a, a slightly alternative method uh, than I think you would normally choose. I think most golfers would normally be opting for a sand wedge or a gap wedge and be trying to take the ball quite cleanly like they would in a fairway bunker. The issue is we've, no, we know therefore we've got no real margin for error. If we take the sand it's just half an inch behind the golf ball, the ball's only going to go maybe half the distance and then we're going to end up with that sort of 40-ish yard, 35 yard pitch shot. So what I've got is an alternative suggestion for you today where I'm going to be actually using a slightly lower lofted iron but still trying to play it like a normal bunker shot. So I've got a nine iron here. Uh, as I said, I'm going to try and fly it about 50 yards and get the ball to run onto the green during, doing the rest. But I'm going to play it as a standard bunker shot where I'm still trying to aim for around two inches behind the ball. And that means I've still got that margin for error. Uh, the slightly harder thing with this is we don't have the same amount of bounce that we would have when we're using our sand wedge or our lob wedge. So the club will dig a little bit more. What you often find in these uh, fairway bunkers or, or long greenside bunkers, as I found myself in here, is there's a little bit less sand or it's maybe a little bit harder, a little bit more coarse. And that actually works quite well with the lower bounce uh, that I've got on my nine iron. If there is a lot of sand in here, you may just want to open that face a little bit so you're still using some of the bounce or possibly go down that alternative route of trying to catch the ball cleanly. But I personally believe that's a slightly harder thing to achieve than trying to hit two inches behind the golf ball. So I've uh, covered quite a few topics now in the bunker. Um, so please check out some of the other videos of my bunker series. So far we've covered a standard bunker shot, a plugged bunker, what happens where there's less sand, so a bare lie, and two alternative shots there uphill and downhill. This is the next one, that long uh, fairway bunker shot or that long greenside bunker shot, I guess, uh, where I've got this 60, 70 yard shot uh, is quite a tricky one. So I'm going to just show you from a face on point of view. First of all, I'm not going to be changing my setup position. And that's why I want you to check out some of my other videos where I talk you through the start position. But the ball is going to be opposite my lead heel. So for me as a right-handed goal for my left heel, I'm still going to be flaring my left toe out. That's an important part to then just try and push our lead knee over our lead foot so we can feel more pressure onto our left side. I'm still trying to hit around two inches behind the golf ball. I'm going to be setting my weight forwards, but I'm going to be having my handle of the golf club more level. I'm not going to be pushing forwards. One, because that would be de-lofting the club. And two, that means we're going in with the digging edge. So we're actually de-lofting the club and lowering the bounce or even going in with negative bounce where that club's going to be digging a little bit too much. I want you to go ahead and make a, a pretty standard bunker swing. So we're going to be going up to about shoulder height, chest height, and the important bit is we're also going to be going through at least as far as we swing back. So we're going to really finish with that pressure on my lead leg, with my chest facing the target, and my hands up at chest height. I'm just going to turn around so I can hit a couple of these for you. As I said, so this situation I've got here, uh, 70 yards. I want to fly the ball around 50 yards. So my target line, you'll see it come up on the screen as well, is around that way. My body line parallel, I don't want an open stance. My ball position near my lead heel, but my left foot, my lead foot is turned out towards the target. I'm trying to hit around two inches behind the golf ball. I'm going to set my pressure forwards, but my handle's going to be more level with the club head, not forwards. Okay, and it's a pretty normal swing where I'm just trying to hit around two inches behind the golf ball. gone a little far that one I took that my contact didn't look too bad but it was a bit too clean not quite enough sand so it's just gone off the back of the green landed on the back edge uh, but that flew 
all of 75 and I actually only want to fly this around 50 so let me just have one more go at that so I'll just draw those lines again ball near my left heel weight forwards handle more level and try and hit around two inches that felt a little better So that one landed uh, just front edge of the green, a little bit longer than I was looking for actually. But the beauty of this was I probably only hit an inch and a half there rather than two inches. Uh, that ball flew further than I wanted. So it's a 70 yard shot that flew 60, but it stopped quicker. Okay, so there was a little bit more backspin imparted. If you took a little bit more sand, so if you actually took three inches, it will come out a little lower. It will land shorter, but it will have more run on landing. Okay, so when you are hitting the sand, there is a, a larger margin for error. You are going to get away with the contact point more. Whereas when you're taking that ball cleanly, trying to pick it off the surface, there's no real margin of error. So think about your club choice when you're next faced with this, this difficult shot, that sort of 40 to 80 yard shot where you're in the bunker. It's not really a, a full shot. It's not feeling like a greenside bunker. Think about your club selection. Try it first before taking it to the golf course. But as I said, I was using a nine iron there and just trying to make around a three quarter swing and hit still hit my two inches of sand. And it worked out pretty well for my 70 yard shot. It gave me that margin for error. It's well worth you giving a guy a go before taking it on the golf course and seeing if that makes a big difference in your game. I hope that video has helped. Please make sure you check out the other videos as well. I'll put the links to it in this video so you can click on those. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, please check us out on all other social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, if you can post any comments, questions, any videos you'd like to see, it really helps uh, me know what you guys would like to actually see content wise. Thanks guys.